So yesterday I made a poll of which video idea should I make first. And with no close second place, the video where I interviewed my furry fans dominated the poll. Like, I mean dominated. So yeah, that's why I aim to do today. I'm going to be interviewing one-on-one -on -one with one of my furry subscribers. Wow! And after recording this, I found out that everybody I interviewed was very nervous. And I can't blame them because I was also very nervous while interviewing them. You would think that the interviewer would be a little more laid back. But for me, this is the first time I'd done something like this. So I didn't want to fumble or, you know, mess up. So this was also a very stressful thing for me too. Yeah, but with that anyway, let's get to the interview. First question. How did you become a furry? A lot of things contributed, uh, for example, games, videos, my friends. You know, I don't remember it. <laughs> okay. That one was actually pretty simple. I remember playing Kaiju Paradise a lot. That actually was a time where, like, I actually liked the idea of having a fluffy character and such until I found out about the community, of course. Well, it all started in 2020 when the uh, pandemic happened. I was just like scrolling on YouTube and like I just found like some furry videos. Eh, why not? I was like tw like 12 when this happened and now I'm a furry. Before I was one, I found a lot of people that seemed very friendly. I hanged out with them for a long time. Sometimes we start to do bets in VR chat. After some time, a lot of things contributed and I became one. Nice. Question two. What do you like about the furry fandom? Uh, cute species. Just a cool community sometimes. Some other parts, of course, not that much. Furry fandom is like really creative about their creations. I can say about that it's easy to find people that uh, have similar interests with you. See, it's easier to find friends and people that can understand you because most of the people there are like on the spectrum. If you are also on spectrum, it's easier for you to find people there that will understand you. Some things that I like in the art and uh, how friendly a lot of people can be sometimes. Understandable. Question three. What is one thing that you dislike about the furry fandom? All the controversy they get about like zoo files and stuff. Like the furry community don't even like zoo files, right? Yeah, they hate them. About some stuff, about jokes or something like that. But it's not only the furry fandom. It's something that in reality, in general, I hate this sense of humor sometimes. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> The dark parts of the furry fandom that I dislike. I don't know how to be specific about it. Oh, calm down, Jamal. I have a lot, actually. I'll, I'll go with the over-sexualization of the fandom. My eyes! Using it way too much, I see it everywhere, and it just doesn't give it a, a good look at all. It just ruins the, the look of the fandom as a whole. Yeah, I feel like that's the part that anti furry kind of resent, and hate because like i think that's the part they see and that's what they judge on last question can you describe your fursona well my fursona is a protogen i don't know anything else how to describe it i don't know it's sort of self-insert but just okay first off is obviously a uh, program yeah. it is dark blue and it has like neon lights in the chest but they are red orange and um and depending in motion basically the color of the face will change mine is really different from the others because i like to keep stuff simple most likely a protogen with a gray jacket with a spiky uh, gray hair and i draw it a lot i'll just give you a story on how i made it you can like tell by my profile picture that i made it in roblox first and then like well shoot this is my first sona now it's just like a green dragon in a hoodie that's basically it all right well thanks for your time you're welcome yep oh epic no your problem time.